we don't have a lot of time. We got family. We're busy. So we wanted to do a, like a quick 10-minute episode since I was at full gear and we just had that pay-per-view happen. So we thought we might as well give our input. Right, Shooting Star? Are you ready? Yeah, bring it on, man. You ready? I, yeah. All right, I want to hear about your experience at this show. It, so I yeah. enjoyed it on TV. I thought it was a cool show. So I want to I mm-hmm. hear from you. And I was glad to hear that because when you're there live, obviously, you're going to appreciate things a little bit more. Um, so I sat in the 200s. I was front row. I like it. Mm-hmm. I was up a little bit, basically almost almost centered um, so I could just see everything that I needed to see. I didn't want to be too low. I had some options to get seats slow, but I just feel like if you're like behind people or standing, I might not. I don't know, but I probably should have because I forgot that the form doesn't have screens. So the form doesn't have oh, any screens. Right. Yeah. So basically hangman and swerve i missed I, I couldn't see how much they were bleeding it was pretty much irrelevant to me i just saw the action i didn't see hangman drinking his blood and all that Ugh, thing yeah. so i did miss some things and the problem is with aew pay-per-view i'm not going to go buy it now and re-watch it so my one experience is watching it live i'm never going to see it on a tv screen unless i look it up or download some illegal you know whatever shots of it but um nonetheless uh it was a fire night aew crowds always into it Here's my complaints. Let's start with the bad, then I'll get into the good, okay? The bad, um, it went on way too long. I was there for, I think, five and a half hours. It, 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 it's, and like I told you before that I always thought it was weird that the way they do their shows, it's just like boom, 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 boom. It never stops. Well, that's how it works. And so you have no chance to get another beer, get some yeah, food after something. five hours to take a piss so i had to miss things so i had to choose so i missed most of the ladder match because by that time i was like dude i gotta go to the bathroom we still have a lot of bang i knew julia hart was coming up and you knew i was gonna miss that so i had to like do what i had to do to kind of so it kind of sucks man like aew needs to be like wwe you need some promos here and there that's dead time to kind of let people readjust and i think the crowd showed that i think they were into it but we were also kind of out of it and one of the big things i noticed was when will osprey was announced I don't know how it sounded on the pay-per-view, but in the crowd, he didn't get that big of a reaction. Mm. And when he was speaking, because he was talking so fast, people were like wetting him and going like, huh? And like, because they couldn't understand anything he was saying. And the and the acoustics in there weren't that great on the mic. Um, like I couldn't hear a lot of what Renee Paquette was saying and so on. So um, like the whole uh, MJF thing, when he got hurt at the beginning, it kind of got lost with us. We were kind of confused at first. Um but yeah, so the pre-show, I have to say, like my other negative was MJF. You don't have MJF do a double header and then announce right when your pay-per-view starts that he's not going to be in the main event. I wonder how many people like refunded or unbought or decided not to buy knowing that. Like I thought that was a really stupid move. Like obviously he was going to wrestle, but not everybody knows that. What if they didn't? What if they missed the pre-show? Yeah. We're about to see the end of it to log in, and they're hearing MJF's not going to be there. Um, secondly, how stupid is it to have um, Adam Cole okay to step in with a cast on, but MJF can't, and the crowd is the AAW people are fighting him back. And then how dumb is it to have Jay White lose to a guy who wrestled, got injured, was in the hospital, and he still beats you clean? What? Yeah. And I know he like pulled it, whatever, but still, I'm like, what in the? And that match was the dud of the night. Every match, bottom to top, was amazing. Um, Swerve was amazing to watch. Edge's stupid makeup was whatever. I knew they were going to do that, but the crowd loved Sting. They loved Edge. Right people won. Um, Orange Cassidy got a huge pop. I like seeing, I like seeing his little firework. Julia Hart's the finest woman alive. I forgot to, it's funny because I, I recorded it and posted it on TikTok. I don't know if you can see it, but when the music turned, the lights turn off, you can see her run her little ass through the ring. She like runs super mm-hmm. fast so she could be on the rope. So I, I got that in my TikTok. I don't know if it showed, it did on my video, but I thought it was funny watching her like scamper around and go under the ropes and then like, but thank God Chris Satlander is no longer the champ. Uh, Swerve and Hangman stole the show. Uh, I don't know if you know. I, I sent it to you. But Swerve was at the Rams game, which I was as well, because they do a whole whose house Rams house because that's what he stole. And there's a video of him like shaking his head about how he's it's not Rams house <laughs> and this and that, which I thought was super funny that it's Swerve's house. Um, and yeah, that was that was pretty much my highlights. Tony Storm. It was a bummer to not see her in black and white on the things. Um. They have the screen like they show a lot of the highlights on the main screen. But I was kind of like where I couldn't see because I didn't know the stage. It went like this, like like Mm -hmm. a shape. So it was like half you couldn't see it because it was like blocked out by the other like the way they did the stage. So I couldn't see. So I saw a couple of times that Swerve was bleeding to death. But 
we missed a lot of it. But no, that was by far easily the best pay-per-view AEW ever did. I don't know if it's pay-per-view of the year, but it's damn close. Um, I, I'm glad I was there. It was worth it. Uh, yeah, everything about it was just amazing. Minus the MJ, everything with MJF was a miss in my eyes. But other than that, it, it was a, it was a big time, big time hit. Now let's hear it from someone who saw it on TV. Completely. Yeah, watching it on TV, um, the swerve. Like I'm not a death match fan whatsoever, mm-hmm. and that swerve Hangman Page match was phenomenal. Like that, I was, agree. Like the, I'm not a fan of all the blood. I'm not a, the the drinking of the blood. I'm like, okay, that's how little... was he drinking it? What was he like ripping it off his face? Or yeah, was he, he was he like poured into a he, cup. He was like he was like holding his head and holding his mouth under his head while the blood dripped into it. And then he Gross. like walked up and like spat it out. It was yeah. Oh, it was... I did see him spit blood. I thought it was his own blood. No, it was oh, that was a swerve. We all saw him like Triple H the blood. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. So he was drinking Got his it. blood. But that that match, I mean, it told a story. There was a good build to mm-hmm. it. There was reason for these guys to not like each other, and and that match made of it, the year candidate. Yeah, yeah, made it made it feel super special. And the I right th- man won. Yeah, I think the right people won in all the matches. Huh? I think yep. uh, you know Edge and Darby Allen and Sting. You know, I'm not a fan of Christian Cage always ever taking an L, but I think they were the right yeah. team to win. Um, mm-hmm. I, I I think you know Chris Statlander losing the TBS Championship was the right call. Orange Cassidy surprisingly beat John Moxley. I thought that was the right call. MJF hold, hanging on to the ROH tag titles and the AEW world title. As much as I love Jay White, I think that was the right call. So I think mm-hmm. Tony Storm, you know, whether we understand her gimmick or whether we like it or not, um, she was the right person to win. Sheeta has been kind of mm-hmm. I don't I don't know why what they see in Sheeta that makes her uh, she's a great wrestler, but Tony Storm is you know, the, their most over woman at the moment. And Mm -hmm. she's carrying that women's division and she needs to hold the title. So huge pop too for Tony Storm. Yeah. yeah. So she's uh, yeah. So I thought my gripe was the eight, the, the MJF stuff as well. All Mm -hmm. of it was so, it was just so dumb. Uh, First of all, like you said, you're going to have Adam, Adam Cole steps up to uh, go into the ring to fight uh, Mm -hmm. Jay White. And, you know, there's no nobody holding Adam Cole back. He's not he's not medically cleared, but they're gonna let him go def- defend the title, I guess. And yeah, um, so that's and then MJF steals an ambulance and comes out. Like the thing that the thing that bothered me about it was Collision and Rampage were actually pretty damn good shows. Rampage was probably its best show ever, and ever it may mm. have been probably one of the best lead-ins that they've ever had for a pay-per-view. Yep. I was amped for Full Gear after watching mm-hmm. Rampage, and a lot of that was because of MJF in the Jay White fight, and um, you know they were going after each other. And you, you've 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 been tormenting MJF for months, you know, taking his belt away, doing the quarters thing, mm-hmm. really just humiliating him at every minute, you, every chance you get. So we finally were going to have mm-hmm. angry MJF, angry babyface MJF, no nonsense, mm-hmm. angry baby face and they just kind of took that away from us by yeah killing that and being like oh yeah well now he's hurt and he's not going to wrestle and we're going to have adam cole do it instead and then mjf comes out and he's he's hobbling to the ring and everyone's telling him not to do it but adam cole's in there on crutches and nobody's telling him not to wrestle and then yeah that whole thing was a dud for me the mjf is a star mjf is a stud i thought the match was i thought the match was actually really good um despite all this stuff that happened and, the match uh, itself wasn't a dud. The crowd was into it. Well, the crowd was actually tired, but it was yeah. the ending end result that why would you lose to a guy who's injured? I think the we were making fun of it in the crowd. I'll tell you that much. The whole yeah. entire MJF. We were all talking and clowning it. And yeah. Yeah. It yeah, it made Jay White look stupid. And that's the yep. one thing I don't like. And then yeah, and then the uh no devil, <laughs> you know, like here we are, like the one of the biggest stories in wrestling at the moment, not just AEW, but in all of wrestling is who's behind the devil mask. And yep. they don't even he doesn't even show up at full gear. No, no, nothing. Not not a not a face, not a beatdown mm-hmm. backstage. And that's really what I thought when they when they were gonna have Adam Cole be the person mm-hmm. to defend. I thought, okay, they're gonna have the devil come out and beat up Adam Cole. And yep. That's it's going to prove that Adam Cole is not the devil and it's going to throw a swerve. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to throw a swerve there and we're going to have to figure out who it is. But no, they didn't do any of that. And yeah, I thought it was a good show um, from start to finish. And um, yeah, it seemed like the crowd was into it. 
for the most from on TV. It really seemed like the crowd was into it. That, and we were, we were like super into yeah. it. The, and this was the best three days AEW. I mean, two days AEW has ever had in a row. Rampage, the best Rampage. Collision, probably the best Collision. Full Gear, probably the best pay per view ever. This was just like a banger after a day. This is all. I'm disappointed at the MG. I don't know what TK was trying to do there and try to yeah. sell that, but it, it how he didn't think that was going to make Jay White look weak. Really quick, we got like two more minutes. What did you think of Will Ospreay signing? Because it was. Did it come off as a huge sound? Like we weren't that in. At least where I was, it yeah, was, it was very quiet. He was, he's already in. You can't have a big That's announcement the, the, be a guy who's already in AEW. It's stupid. That was, that was the yeah. thing. I thought when there was rumors of Ronda Rousey being at ROH the night before, uh -huh. and I thought, okay, she maybe was, yeah. that's, that's yeah. the big signing. Um, but then it turns out it's Will Ospreay instead. And mm. he's already been wrestling for AEW. He was at all in. And it, yeah, th the thing for me is it just feels like all Tony Khan cares about is all in at Wembley Stadium 2024. That's it. His big announcement was a few weeks ago. Oh, you know, we're selling tickets for all in 2024, mm -hmm. even though you have full gear coming up and you have, you know, World's End and you have all these other new pay-per-views. But no, let's talk about, you know, all in. And then yeah. even the the Osprey thing was to sell tickets for that. He even yes. was like, yeah, I'm going to be at all in in the UK and I, I'm, you know, I'm going to be wrestling there. But hold on, I'm not coming yet. That was that was the dud for me was, yeah. you know, I, I'm here, but not yet. I still have to finish up my duties and I'll be back for the road to revolution. Then Thank just you. announce the signing then. Don't announce it yeah. now or just say, hey, he's all elite. He'll be joining us in March. You don't have to bring him out and all that. So that was that was that. That was a dud for me. That was that was yeah. actually one of my low points of the night was the Osprey signing. Hit or miss for Osprey. I think signing. I think I think it I think it'll be a hit. I think uh, the man can go. The man can go in mm -hmm. the ring. I think he's proven that. I think seeing are we going to see him every week? I think that's going to be the the question. Mm -hmm. Is he willing to travel? Is he can he tell stories? That's the other thing we got to find out. But, right. um, it, but yeah, it worked I think for it'll Jay be White. A hit. Yeah. It worked for Jay White. Jay White was the last big New Japan wrestler who could have went to WWE, who chose the EW, and it's been working for him. Um, MJF supposedly has secretly already signed a contract like six months ago. He's already That's what, extended, yeah. is what rumor has it. So once again, like I said, I said that even before I heard that, that I'm assuming he's going to sign an extension. He's still going to WWE. My thing is Will Ospreay is probably the most talented wrestler in the world right now. I, 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 it could be debated, but I think it's – very slim debate that you can have that. I think this is a a wimpy decision on him. I think this is a win for AEW. I Big think time. it's a miss yeah. for I, but I think it's a miss for Will Ospreay. And I think Will Ospreay should have went to WWE. I don't know what he's afraid of. People are saying because a chance he's guaranteed a title or Wembley. Get at you think Wembley is the biggest thing? Have you ever heard of a no. thing called freaking WrestleMania? Get the out of my face yeah. with that. He's not going to main event Wembley, so he's not going to main event WrestleMania. But WrestleMania is a way bigger moment. I think this is a miss for him. I think he's getting you know wherever he is in his career, he should have went to the WWE. I don't know how long he signed for, but it was a miss all around for me, and I don't think the crowd was that into it. Uh, at least when I was there live, it wasn't. Uh, also, merch was like non-existent. I got oh, yeah? there before the pre-show started, and I walked by three merch stands, and all of them shirts were like gone. All they had was the "He's our scumbag," and I'm not going to wear a shirt that says "He's our scumbag" around in public. So that's the only shirt they had, like no merch. They had a seven hundred dollar belt and one wow. shirt. So yeah. I was disappointed because I wanted a shirt of some sort. I wanted yeah. a Bang Bang Gang or something. I want that, they didn't that have Ed shirt that they have, the Rated R era. Yeah, um, they had nothing. Yeah. Literally, it was like sold out everywhere. So anyway, if you went to the event too, let us know in the comments. Let us know what you thought. If you think we're good or wrong, and I like that we had two different things, yeah. but sorry, that was a quick addition. We should do this more often after. Yeah, that was fun. Time. We should yeah. just do quick fifteen minute yeah, things, and, then, and we can leave it out of our main show. Yeah, just yeah. Do like quick recaps of the show. I like it. I like it. But yeah, best pay per view. I give it a ten out of ten to be. Well, I'll give it a nine out of ten because MJF messed it up. But yeah, 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 man. I That's thought it was. We, yeah, I'll give it a nine and a half. I thought it was the best show that they did. Yeah. A hundred percent. I think it was better, better than, than all in. I thought it was better. Yeah, better than I, I agree. I agree. I agree. All right. Keep tuning in, y'all. Keep checking us out. Watch Dynamite. I'm excited to see Dynamite. I'm hopefully they follow up well. It's in uh, Chicago. Doing. I know. Let's see. Is Sium Punk coming? We'll He's find coming. out. We're gonna find is out. He, is that why the devil wasn't there? We'll see. Two dudes attitudes. Tune in. All right, and we're out, y'all. Let's go. Shooting star. It's the two dudes with the attitudes, let's go on the Friday, you know what it is.